Alright guys, what's going on? Welcome to your third Git tutorial. Today, we're going to make a branch. Very cool technology. It's not even technology, it's software. Doesn't matter. Let's make a branch. So a branch essentially allows you to create variations of your code. So a great example of this is, let's say, uh, it allows you to fork the code off, essentially make another copy of it, work on whatever X feature, let's say a big complicated feature you're adding, let's say you're adding um, the ability in Android to have a new screen. And then you merge the code back together. So you create your, your own version with a new feature, then you merge it all back together. So to make a branch, you say bit branch, and we're going to call this um, uh, contact changes. So now we've created a branch called contact changes, but we're not on the branch. So currently there is another vari variation of code there, but we're currently on the master branch here. That's what this says here, master. The master branch is the one branch you cannot delete. It is the single copy. It is what you do not fuck up if you're working in a team. Don't mess with the master. You only ever merge to master. You never actually edit on the master. It's just not good. Anyway, we need to get onto a new branch. You need to actually you know, switch the branch. So you type in git checkout. And you can just tab it in. So now, as you can see, we're now on the contact changes branch. So let's make some changes. We're going to edit our file and we're just going to add you know, p no I can't even type today there's my phone number apparently and we're just going to go control D And my Skype name. So let's commit those changes. We're going to commit these to our new branch. So we're going to say git add all git commit dash m contact changes. So now what we've done is we've created a new version of our file and we've taken our picture and we've stored it in the git repository. So now if we edit, open this file up, we have our phone and Skype. Let's switch back to master. So we're going to just tap up, git checkout, master. We're now back on master. Let's take a look at our contact page now. The changes are gone. We now have two different versions of our code. We have a master branch and our contact changes branch and we're not on and we're on the master branch so the contact changes we can't see the changes so let's switch back to our contact changes and take a look at the file again and the changes are back this is where git is powerful this is why git is amazing in version control so okay so now we've made our changes now let's say okay i've worked on my feature i've added whatever feature i wanted how do i get my change how do I get one branch into another so I want to get rid of my contact changes I want to take my changes from my contact changes branch or my feature and I want to push those into my master branch and then delete it or delete the contact changes branch because it's not needed well first of all you have to be on you merge into the branch you're currently on it's called merging and what you do is you you master or you, you stay on the master and then you merge into the master so we're going to type in git merge is the first command and we're going to say contact changes. So we've updated, we have one file change, two insertions and now we're on the master branch and our changes are here. Voila. We've now merged the changes from that branch into our current branch. So let's get rid of our old branch. So we're going to say git branch. Dash D contact changes. And our branch was deleted. So that's branching in a nutshell. 
Now, what about that remote? We could do a git push now on the master and update our remote repository. But you can actually push branches up to a remote as well. So we're going to very quickly create a new branch. And we're just going to say to call this home changes. Okay, so we've created our branch home changes. And we're going to check out. Home changes. We're going to add some changes to our home page. So we're just going to say create P, not OP. <laughs> this is my site. I save it. And then we're going to uh, get our git. Add all. So we're going to do a git commit. Then we're going to say git push remote. Git push origin. We want to push this to our branch, so we're going to say home changes. password and voila we've now created a new branch on a remote and pushed our changes up so let's go take a look at our remote so if we refresh it overview we have two branches home changes and master Ta -da! so let's merge in those changes so we're just gonna git Git checkout master. It should be easier just to type in. Merge the home changes in. So now we're on our master. Our home changes are here. And we're just going to git push. And we've now pushed up our changes to the master. So if we view our source on Bitbucket, open up home page, we have our little P tag. Excellent. So that's branching in a nutshell. Uh, next time we're going to go into a bit more advanced with branching. We're going to delete our local branch and pull a new one down from the remote. So anyway, guys, as always, see you next time.